Well, hey peeps, welcome to my first look at Sunshine Valley Farm. Um, finally, a modder I can actually pronounce the name of. Something on my shoe too, and I don't have to kill his name when I'm saying it. Woohoo! Hey, oh, and I turn my phone down. Um, yeah, three hundred twenty-five point oh nine megabytes. So it's not a large map by any chance, by any stretch of the imagination. Um. Which is pretty good for people who are running short on space, want to try a new map. Um, I haven't been in yet guys, I know it's been out a while, but um, this is the first chance I've had to look around it with some technical difficulties. So let's just jump into it. And here we are. Main farm. Yay. So, uh, oh, we'll start right at that. Okay, so let's get a quick look at the, at the map um, to start with. Then we'll have a look at the starting fleet. So, wow. Um, 32 fields, and all it says in the description it has 32 fields with sheep, cows, and chickens, and pigs. Um, hey, Steve. Thanks very much for that. Alright, so. Okay. Animals are all spread out by the look of it. Um, okay. Where do we start? Uh, so, pretty much a lot of square fields. There is some weird ships in it, though. Which is good. Not a bad thing. Railway yard. So hopefully there's a railway. So there's your animal dealer. Sheep and the chickens. Start off with field 28. Is that all? Yeah. <coughs> hey, Jeffrey. Uh. Wow, uh map doesn't look extremely exciting from the overview. Fields don't look that big. 26 looking to be the biggest. Oh. Hey, Josh. <laughs> you can comment uh, a bit, I mean, support me as much as you like. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at the starting fleet for this one. Uh, T5. Ooh. No, why is this? We started with something like that. The axial flow with the 14 foot header. Metal tech trailer. Cultivator, ply, cedar, barrel weight. That's it? Ooh. So you really are starting off with the very basics in this one. Uh. <laughs> wait for a good live stream. And uh, not be that much, man. It'll be about a half an hour or so on this one, just with the map review. Uh. <laughs> that has to be more than it. yeah. Well, three point three meters at times what you start off with. Definitely a lot of. Mess around the yard. I take it that's your fertilization spot. Are these bunkers? No. This is storage base. Well, that's interesting. Would be nice to have bunkers there, but hey. <laughs> you can't be 3.3 M. Um, oh, so the doors do open. You get some very large storage spaces. Oh, there's your tractor. Let's 
some more storage spaces. Well, you've got a bit of storage on the main farm anyway, haven't you? Seed. Uh, what's this say? It's obviously going to be a straw sale point. Yeah. Again, the same map author that did the uh, American Outback, Mustang Valley Ranch, and Who Dat Hooder Ranch. I did play the American Outback for quite a bit. I enjoyed that one. Who Dat Who There had a bit of a. Ooh. Obviously, your silos. Who Dat Who There had a bit of a problems with field boundaries, which put me off it for a while. Mustang Valley just didn't really interest me, to be totally honest. Something on my shoe chew, yeah that's right jo Josh. Wow, that's the yard? It's not that big. Interesting start. Let's just get the tractor on the gill then. Move the weight over to the side. Oh, we can't. There's big boards there. I'll take a T5 for a spin. I haven't been in one of these for a while. So. Oh, the dupa. A bag knocked over. Oh, the 2 2. Sweet. Okay. Um. So where do we want to go first? Well, from the looks of the map, most of the trade is up and down the main spine. So, I'll run up and down that. I'll head right to the north. We'll head up to the... Lakeside Grains first, and then we'll come back down the main spine. Uh, I need to go the other way. Alright, so... Right this way. Eastbound down down, yeah. Um, I think there is a BGA on it, yeah. Oh. We need to head up first, don't we? So, we're not even on the main track. Oh, I don't even know where I am now. Yeah, we'll just keep heading up north. Well, actually... Stopping anything we see on the way. Uh, no, Thomas, stop reading chat. Concentrate on driving. Doesn't look to be any coins on this one. Oh, what's this? Oh, there we are. Yeah, there is nuggets on the map. So you've got the 100 nugget challenge. Just the way in the field. So field 26, what are we talking? 143 and a half for 1.77 acres. Put the hammer down. No, he's he's sleeping. We'll leave him alone. Let the sleeping puppy sleep. He's snoring over here beside me. So there's petrol here. Or gas, whatever way you want to put it. Oh, there's two nuggets. So, I mean, you've got a lot of storage space. Um, Where's the map meant to be sent on? I haven't got a clue. We're driving on the right side of the road, so it's... Either American or um, European. Found a shop. Just a Morgan's Massive Motors. Nothing special around here, I don't think. The clean me map. Uh, 
hit it even further. Oh, we've got railway lines. Cross the signals. So, um, yeah, we'll head north. Oh, here, how long? We're driving on the left side of the road. So this is somewhere set somewhere in the UK then. Oh, we're on the convoy in the chat then, are we? Uh, oh, moo moos. So if we're driving on the left side of the road, that means we're in <coughs> possibly the UK? Maybe Ireland? Or another gold nugget. I'll do it, so I'll leave that there for the second. I'll run over here and have a look. Oh, this is the case. It's a feeding trough. Straight out of Goldcrest. Animal buy point. So where's the water? Where's the water there? Right, so the cows are on this side of the road, so it must be like a yard on this side of the road. Hey, Dylan. Oh, it looks like a map. It does look like a map. So, your cows are over that side, but your manure and slurry is this side. That's a bit strange. Seeing that the slurry is normally very close to where the cows are. A silage pit. Oh, picked up another coin. Strange. Normally they have the slurry pit right beside the uh, the cows. Obviously, it goes right in underneath the cows most of the time, doesn't it? Just a little more storage there. You thought it was straight out of Crompton, eh? I don't know about that because I've never played that map. Oh, visual glitch. Back over the wall. Ooh, we've got a flicker on wall. Hologram's not working properly. Um, let's get back to the tractor. And see where we're heading now. I'm just going to bounce over to it, be quicker. Um, let's have a peek, where are we going? To the Lakeside Greens. Yeah, Steve, that's right, they do they absolutely suck. Ah, Lakeside Greens is straight from Goldcrest too. Although there's no ramp up to it this time, which is different. Uh, obviously why it's called Excite Greens is because it's beside the lake. Way. Um where else are we going next? Ba back to the there and we'll head down the main spline then. And nothing else up there there? Yeah well I suppose we could always bounce over to the sheep. 
We're taking bets on a business trader to Goldcrest. Oh, pigs! It's not sheep, it's pigs. BJ, yeah, we'll have a look at that in a second, Steve, when I can find it. Uh, just more storage. This is the pig, well, it says pigs. Ah, there's your buy area. And then your pigs are obviously in here. Water trough. I would take it that's for hay. Tell me later. And then obviously that's food. Plenty of stories around the map. And obviously a big grassland area for you to cut. So the pigs are far enough out of the way if you want to ignore them, you can. Or if you want to uh, do them, they're going to be some hassle to get up and down to. But that's not a bad thing. Let's just head straight on down here. Through a bit of a housing area. We've been to the shop, so I think we go this way. What's up here? Okay, Steve, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Just the back of the case. It's straw, not hay, okay. Everyone's being very picky today. So, this is a seal area. Straight out of South Novka. Somewhere to sell the eggs. Seal point for manure and slurry. This isn't really designed for the big equipment, is it? I suppose you're not big fields, so you wouldn't really have that big equipment anyway. Eh. Wake up and smell the tea. I haven't had enough tea today, Steve. <laughs> Does it take mist? Um, maybe. You never know. What's that? I'm gonna maybe think wool here. Yeah, there you go. Although there is nothing really saying wool around it. Is there? Oh. Gold yarn spinnery. <coughs> uh. It's not for dungaree either. Small to medium equipment, I would maybe think so, yeah. Ah, there's the ball on top of it there. So you're delivering to the back. I think starting off with T5 has been interest an interesting change. Oh, what did I miss a cell point? There we are there. Um, I would say this is the bakery then. Oh no, it's the pub. The old station in. Alright, so we sell to the pub. Always good to sell to a pub. We like pubs. Um, we'll keep on heading down here then. There's another sale point just down here a bit.
It seems to be in here. This must be the bakery. It looks like a bakery. Some of the fields are huge. Oh, I haven't really had a look at the fields yet, Steve, or Dylan, so we'll get around to that in a second. Just trying to find my way about this place. Oh no, this isn't the cell point. The cell point must be over here. Uh, down here a bit? Uh, oh, so your wood yard, wood chips, gold nugget, then obviously that's for your logs. We have a crane, which you can use by the look of it. Some more storage space, same barns as in the yard. Hmm. <laughs> oh, here we go, we autocorrect again. Alright, so let's just jump back into the tractor. And let's keep on... Where are we going next? Let's stop in the middle of the road and check it out. So, we've been to the sawmill. So we just need the BGA over there. And the railway yard. And that's the sail points taken care of by the look of it. What's that one? Oh no, I have to go to Hillside Grange yet. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, let's go have a look at the... Where are we going? Straight down. <laughs> Plenty of storage in the map, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're straight on down, do we? We can't do it. Yeah, Je Jeffrey, but definitely don't want that word. Checked at the map yesterday. Um, I have been meaning to get around this a lot quicker, Dylan. It's just a good way late doing other things and whatnot. Back across the railway line. Keep heading down. So it seems like a nice enough map. Be interesting to see if it still has the same issues. As was had on the last map he did with the field boundaries and stuff, but that'll not be <coughs> no, well. We won't know that until unless we play it. Yeah, tell me what do you think about the map? I'm going the wrong way. Coming up in cell point. Oh, what a lovely conversation to be having, guys. So, here we are, other cell point. And it generally looks again like a gold crest cell point. Only this, oh, this one's only available by train 2. Interesting. Is there anywhere you can put by... Oh, no, you can sell here as well by... Vehicle 2. Cool. Alright, so what have we left to look at then? Oh, here we go. 
Um, spin up on right into the BGA then. Let's follow the road apparently. Do we cross the river? Oh, going the wrong direction. Oops. Bit of a rail yard there. Ah, the railway doesn't go to anywhere, but does it? So, yeah, we'll have to check it and see if there's trains on the map. You give it a lot of storage. Actually, do you know what? While I'm here, yeah, straight into the slots, but you have a lot more slot lands available here. Than you do most other maps with the size of it, which is pretty cool. Um, I think if it had been a bit smaller, you wouldn't have been hit with slots straight away. But yeah, nearly a thousand slots there, which is pretty good. And ah, oh, we're gonna take too long just bouncing around here, so I'll just skip to the BGA. Alright, BGA bunker. Well, that's not a BGA bunker. Oh, this is Hillside Greens, that's why. Uh, the. So, he like. Yeah, the, the map author seems to like this building. He uses it in every one of the maps. I'm not a big fan of this building, especially because you, if you know, unless you use push wall, you know, push wall tippers, it's it's going to be a horrible, you know, trying to tip anything into that. It also looks like it's made a pretty hard. No, oh, you might be able to get a semi in through here. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so Baga is here. Right, Biga. So it's going to be the usual setup by the look of things. From Goldcrest. Yeah. Goldcrest we worked in it. One, two, three, four, five pits. Well, <laughs> yeah, this this sort of kills me. And I'll say it now, it does kill me. You know, this guy here has, has made numerous maps now for 15 and 17. Do you know what? You think you could do something more original with a BGA. I mean, there's plenty of different models out there, you know, on different maps to do different things with BGA. Why don't you do something different? Don't get me wrong, the, you know, the Goldcrest one's functional, but it'd be nice to have something different. More domes over here. Nothing over here, though. Water tower. That's a bit disappointing, man. Uh, okay. Animal dealers down here somewhere. Well, I might as well take a run down to it. Uh, straight out of Goldcrest again, look. Ah, uh, well, you know, there's a canal type of system -y type thing in it, I suppose, but it doesn't really serve a 
purpose, I don't think. Be nice to see if we get free water from the uh, places as well. Let's have a peek and see what else is around. Let's see if we've missed anything. Sheepies, sheepies and chickens. While we're down here, we'll have a look at 26. It's the biggest field on map. Um, we'll see if much that is. So, uh, a bit of a large placeable area. It's pretty neat. Wool is going to appear here, yeah. Sheep are here. Oh, there's chickens. <laughs> yeah, Claire, uh, Steve, uh, do you know, it's, it's nearly FS19 and they're still using the original base model from, um, Goldcrest. Man, uh, making a map is not easy. I'll, you know, I'll give them that. But at the same time, you know, put a bit of effort in. The large placeable area is quite cool, actually. Um, but why you would need such a large placeable area down at the sheep? There's the water for it. There's the food for it. You know, when you look at the map. Look at where the sheep is. Why do you need a large placeable area down that corner? It's a bit naughty, if you ask me. But hey, uh, we want to go and have a look at field twenty-six, which is over here. We'll take a bounce over. Have a look at the price. Yeah, when American Outback, he first released American Outback for console, it was promising. Big open fields, etc, etc. A nice big open map. Um, right, so... Wow. Field number 26. 14.8 hectares, and it's 1.2 million. Wow. 1.2. Okay. That's... Interesting. It's a normal size map as well, guys. It's a 2km by 2km map, so 2x map. There looks to be a lot of wasted space in here. Um, if you look up around the north east of the map, big a lot of wasted space up there with nothing. You know, up around, especially the north of the map, looked wasted. In round where the railway yard is, you know, big open areas there. I suppose it's grass areas, but. You know, fields could have been developed for that. And again, if you look up, I mean, you're, you're starting a farm. I'll put it up on the Milder map. Your starting farm is over here. Uh, where was it again? I'm lost. Where's the start farm? Yeah, your starting farm there is where you say it's farm, barn. You've no fields around you that you own. You have to travel the whole way across the map to field number twenty-eight for a field. That's quite a distance for your first field. Um, American Outback, he did the same thing. Mustang Valley, he did the same thing. I don't know what the the idea behind having a field so far away is. Visually, it's a nice looking map, you know. The rope up here and around the gates, you know, it's put some nice touches in it. The way the road sits, the cracks at the end, you know, the cat sizer in the middle of the road. But then you come across things like this. It's like, where's the texture? Now, I've just noticed that. That's that's a bit meh, if you ask me. Oh, and I've just run off the edge of the map. Uh, 
Okay. So I've just been magically transported back to the main yard because it didn't like me running into that horrible unimaginative end and edge to the map. Yeah, you know, centre of the map looks quite good. It looks quite nice. Nice laneways. You know, road system is laid out. There is no trains on the map, as I was said in chat. Top right corner. Um Top right corner isn't up here. Well, I suppose we could always take a run up and have a look. Top right corner is going to be your logging area, but the, well, there's some trees up here. That's annoying. I, mean, I haven't really seen a, a big logging area. Yeah, Steve, there. Just notice your comment. Um, there hasn't really been a big logging area, as such has there? So. Yeah. This whole area of the map is just a wall. With nothing up here. In fact, I've hit the boundary, I can't go any further. Yeah, I've hit the boundary, so. Ooh, you got a nice view from up here, though, don't you? Pretty nicely speed, you know. Let out in the middle of a valley. I suppose that's why it's called Sunshine Valley. Um, yeah, lovely view. Looks to be set out quite nice. If that's your sort of map, go for it, guys. It's it's not mine, unfortunately. Um, certain things have annoyed me already. I mean, that getting flicked back to the center of the farm. Um, the 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 visual ending to the map wasn't great. There's no border there. It's as if you just walked off the map and they just transferred back to the middle or your your starting point. <laughs> there doesn't look to be any major logging areas in this map. Uh, if it's your map, guys, go for it. Um, it's a nice looking map. Yeah, it's fun. It, yeah, something on my shoe too always makes his, his maps functional. So, you know, you can be assured the cell points are going to work. You can be assured that the um, BGA is going to work. You can be sure that all the, you know, the, the standard FS stuff is going to work. What would be good to see is if you've got the field boundaries right in this one where you can use hard workers. Uh, who that there? Who that who there? Ranch for me was a bit iffy on that. But, as I say, that's it for the map tour today, guys. Um, thanks for coming along and um, watching with me on Twitch. <sighs> um, closing statements, not for me, but it may be your sort of cup of tea. Again, guys, thank you very much, and we'll catch you later.